tomorrow is new comic book day, so let's go ahead and take a look at next week with my top 10 comic spec picks for next week's new comic book day, Wednesday, June 24th, 2023. If there are any DC books that you want to get, as always, those from Lunar are going to be coming out the Tuesday before, which would be June 23rd, 2023. Without further ado, let's get started. And first up, this one is just a cover spec for me. There are a lot of Power Ranger fans out there who love a good Trini Kwan cover. We all know she passed away, unfortunately. And they even kind of did sort of an homage thing to her in the new movie that just came out. And this cover is an action figure cover of her as the Yellow Omega Ranger. And this is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number 109. This is the one for 25 incentive. Number nine, we have another cover by in Ultimate Invasion, negative space variant. Ultimate Invasion number one, that's really it. So moving on to number eight, we have The Vigil number two. And it just mentions that there are some unknown members that could get introduced. Right here, other possible members unknown. So, there could be some new people that show up in here. So, there's, it's a DC spec. Just thought I'd put it on here at number eight. At number seven, we have Cult of Carnage Misery number two. And this one is the first appearance of Madness. Now, I haven't kept up with this. I'm guessing that's who this is. Uh... Looks like there's another cover right here, the Philip Tan variant. It looks pretty neat. So, anyways, we've got a nice Marvel spec there at number seven. At number six, we have the Incredible Hulk number one. And this one is the first appearance of the Eldest, who had a preview appearance in the Hulk annual number one. It is also the first mention of the Mother of All Horrors. And before we get to number five, I did want to just say that I did take last week off. I took my family out to uh, to California for the beach. We went to SeaWorld and Universal Studios, and it was really fun. So I didn't get any videos out, but I want to thank you all for your support. I actually got some new subscribers even while I was out there and didn't put out any videos. So I'd like to thank you all for that. And let's move on to number five. We have Miles Morales, number seven. And this actually is the first debut of an armored suit for Miles. And I wanted to show you this incentive variant. It's the one for ten. It looks like this is it. So usually for some of these... Um, if it's a new character or a new costume or something, the design variants can be a pretty good investment. Um, again, I don't know how good these are going to do on the secondary market, uh, so it's up to you to decide if that's something you want to spend your money on. I don't recall seeing this in the new movie, in the most recent movie. It might be in the third, uh, the third part, uh, part three, but, um... I did see, actually, it might have just been even today, that they're probably not going to hit the 2024 date, release date of that movie. So you would be sitting on it for a while and it could lose value. Who knows? So just be careful with any type of spec. Just make sure it's something you're willing to keep. And if, it, if anything you get doesn't go up in value at all, that you're happy with it. Alright, so after that, we have Titans number two, and this one actually, hold on, sorry, where's my cursor? Alright, there's, uh, it was on the other monitor, on another monitor. Alright, so this one actually has, um... The introduction of a new brother blood so that I've 
been keeping up with DC, the Titan show a little bit. Not too much, but I do. But I know Brother Blood was the main bad and you know the main run recently. Uh, I didn't see how that played out, but seeing as how they chose him for that, and he actually had some pretty cool powers, um, it might be worth. Uh, a Brother Blood might uh, be a pretty big character going forward, at least in the DC Universe. So there you go. At number three, we have Titans number two. And at number... I'm sorry, that was number four. Number three, we have Edge of Spider-Verse number three. And this has the origin of Spider-Boy. And one of the covers I like for this... I need to recharge my mouse. It's been all right. So, anyways, uh, I really like this Young Yoon uh, variant, and it's you know the homage to Secret Wars Eight, where Spidey gets the black suit. And <laughs> sorry, I'm... all right, that's a little bit better. Okay, so sorry about that. Um, anyways, that's. Spider Boy has been the uh, you know the hit recently, so who knows if the origin is worth picking up? But here's a nice little cover here. I do find it interesting that it's the origin of Spider Boy, and then they don't have Spider Boy on the cover that I see. This I think this is this is Billy Morales, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I guess I could be. I, I'm not reading these books, so I don't know. But from what I've seen, that what I think that is. Alright, I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments and correct me. Alright, so Venom 21 is number two. And this one is it says not your father's bedlam. So um the time this place monster called Bedlam. It is always Okay, so they're saying this character right here will be waiting on the other side. It's a new character. So, it, hint, it's that giant red dude with four arms right above this text. So, that's this guy. We don't know who it is. We don't know who... We don't know the symbiote. We don't know the person who it is. Uh, so, you know, knew everything, probably. So, that's why Venom 21 is my number two. Before it gets to number one, I did want to remind you, I do have my PayPal and my Venmo in the description of the video if you want to support the channel. And I also am doing my 1K subscriber giveaway. You can win one of two awesome slabs. We're over halfway there. And I'll thank you all very much for that support. So, let's go ahead and move on to number one. And it's actually a DC book. I know. I can't remember the last time a DC book was my number one. It's Wonder Woman number 800. Because it has the first appearance of Wonder Woman's daughter, Trinity. And here's the cover A, but I wanted to go ahead and show you this cover right here. This is the, I think it's cover K, and it's the Trinity cover. So, someone mentioned on my FOC video about that one, so I knew there was one to keep an eye out for. But it looks like it's, let me see if it says, um, oh, it's not going to say because, let me see if I hover over it. No, hold on. So, if I select a different cover... And then go down and hover. All right, cover K, the Daniel Sampere cardstock variant. He has a different, another one. Uh, here it is. But this does not have her. I believe it doesn't. So I think that's just Diana in different poses. So I think this is the Trinity one. The only one that has her on the cover. So that might be something you want to pick up. All right. Um, so there's my number one. Uh, Wonder Woman, number 800, specifically the cover K, Daniel Semperi, Trinity, cardstock variant. Alright everybody, that's going to go ahead and do it for me in this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, if you could please click that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel to see more great content like this, and comment down below, help me out with that algorithm, all those fun things. And don't forget to check out my PayPal and my Venmo in the description of this video. And if you want to see a couple other videos that I have, you can check out one of these two videos here. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. And as always, thanks again for checking out the video.